Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain. Welcome to the August edition of Board Briefings. I'm just back from the ASA conference in Toronto, which was a terrific program. Education was great. The keynotes were great. Um, a couple of gurus. A new favorite one I have, Gary Hamill, The Future of Management. You're going to hear more about that. But some great insights into virtual teams, how you can get more out of your management teams in the marketplace. But what I want to give to you is a resource, because ASAE has put all the presentations online for people to download. So while they leave that website open, I want you to go or send your membership committees, your government affairs committees, or others to the ASAE website. You can see it behind me, but you want to go to asaeannualmeeting.org, press on the education button. You're going to see the handouts there. Send your guys there. There's just terrific material on all the latest things that are going on around association management with some great case studies that you can take and use in your local association. So you take the stuff from the website while you still can. There's one major project I want you to bring up with your boards coming up over the next month. And I know you're all going to meet in September, but this is the time we really need to hone our marketing messages and market to our value propositions in terms of how we're doing relative to the competition, how our price is worth it in this marketplace as we go to retain the members we have but really increase the size of this organization. It's a conversation we started last October at the BE Leadership Conference here in Washington, but we really need to work on our marketing messages. We know we've got the best advocacy there, the return on investment from our legislative issues, from taxes to energy efficiency is big, the regulatory victories we've had on the construction side, again on the energy side, big ROI. Our training's been on point in terms of tenants working with distressed properties, as well as green and sustainability. Our business network, we've identified that for years. Our guys problem solve together. They support each other. They create value in the marketplace. We can leverage that up. When you look at our standards, when you look at our research, we've got new floor standards out. We've got the gross area measurement standard out. We've got the office standard being updated with wonderful new features in it. They're benchmarks, they're part of our brand, but it's new product we're bringing to market in a bad economy. The Experience Exchange Report, we just brought it online. It's a searchable database. You can download that data into spreadsheets, into PowerPoint presentation. It's a new offering that creates value and efficiencies at a lower price for our members. Same time, we've just launched our 360 program, which is a way for companies to look at their buildings and say, this building is a high performance building. It's performing at an A level, gives them an objective metric in the marketplace to use with banks, with investors, but to differentiate their properties in the marketplace as we go through this economic cycle. The thing that BOMA is doing uniquely in the marketplace right now is driving value. We're doing new things and we're making it happen, but we've got to compete against the competition in the marketplace. And it happens in many different ways in the United States, in Canada and elsewhere. You've got to gauge your marketplace against the other associations, really ramp up the value of your organization and what you're doing in your marketplace, leverage all the things we're doing locally and nationally, and make a really strong marketing case for why BOMA is the group you need to be investing in first and making everything else secondary. Your board should spend some time doing that in September. Love to be a part of that conversation, and thank you for listening.